Hi guys, before I start this video, I just want to say to anyone who gets bored at certain points or whatever, don't click off, don't skip, don't be afraid because of the length of the video because a written guide will be in the description of the video and as well as this timestamps of all the important things in the video will be included in the description so you can skip to the important section you can skip throughout my whole introduction if you already know what your problem is then fine you can also skip me telling you about what the problem is so that's just a quick disclaimer so i'm just gonna get right into it what would happen is i'd be playing a game and well it would have random lag so I, I built my computer, I knew it was capable of a lot more. When I first started using my computer, games were running smooth, smooth, smooth. And then a few months later, randomly would be playing and then it would drop drastically. It would drop to about 5 FPS on games that, would, that it should be averaging about you know, 60 FPS. It would drop from 90 FPS to about 10 FPS. And I didn't know what was going on. So basically, I went on the internet and all I found were stuff about how it's either your card heating, it's either your drivers need updating, um, and yeah those were basically the two but I tried both of these and none of them worked. Now what I did in response to this, I downloaded MSI Afterburner, I started playing my game until the lag spike occurred. When the lag spike occurred, I switched to MSI Afterburner and looked at my GPU usage. And if you look at the GPU usage when no game is playing, it's about zero, or well, right now it's about 1%. And when you play a game, normally, well, without the issue, it's about 50-40%. So you'd see 50-40%, and when I started experiencing the lag, it corresponded, it went up to 99%, 98%, stuff like that. So I knew something was draining my GPU. Now, bear in mind, I had tried updating all my drivers. I knew it would produce overheating because I had checked the heat, and the heat was, the temperature was fine. And at the same time, sometimes I'd start my computer up, and even after the just start up, performance would be in that terrible state. So I knew it wasn't overheating and I knew that it wasn't the driver issues so I would say any this guide is for anyone who's tried those and feels like they need a last resort my graphics card is a GTX 970 but it is a widespread issue so this isn't confined just to my specific graphics card basically this is the issue I discovered that I actually had a Bitcoin mining virus on my computer and the thing is you'd assume that the ESET Notice antivirus software is the best or whatever it can protect you but it didn't protect me because some malware sometimes basically they get through especially if you're the kind of PC user like me who does you know like risky things online so um, on to the solution okay guys so this is the guide that works for me and I found this um, on a website I'll give credit at the end of the video and in the description so if you want to go check it out especially if you want to actually just read the written guide uh, straight from the website you can go do that and this is the guide I'm just gonna show you how to do it so first of all I don't care if you think you have all the best virus software in the world this is what you need to do okay you need to get these software packages so like it says um, download all of these so you go to malwarebytes.org um, you know I'm not going to actually download all of them, I mean that's pretty straightforward, if anyone in the comments needs help with the actual downloading process, I will make a response to this video and help them, I will show them how to download it specifically, but unless that's requested, um, I'm pretty sure you guys can download it for yourself, so if this can actually download a full version, do that, but yeah, I mean you're not going to need it again for a few months, so I mean, unless you get infected, you can prevention is the best strategy so unless you get infected again you won't need it um, so download that this um, they're all free software by the way everyone so download 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 and download now once you've downloaded all these software packages um, I would recommend that you keep them because some of them are executables I would recommend that you move them all to a folder in your desk desktop or somewhere easily accessible called, I don't know, um, ki lag killers, yeah? And once you move them there, you'll, they'll be easable. The only thing that's not an executable, like directly after you downloaded it, is malware anti malware. So, you know, again, I'll, if anyone requests, I'll create a new video 
to help anyone who's struggling with that. If anyone doesn't know, the way to transfer um, files, you just find where it is in your um, downloads folder, show in folder, and then because it's an executable, just cut and paste or copy and paste. So cut and then you paste it, and boom, that's it. So place file doesn't really matter. That was just me showing you how it's done. So now you have all of these programs, it's on to the next series of steps. So the first thing you want to do is disconnect from the internet completely. So if you want to do that, just click, right click, just this is Windows 10, click and disconnect. Follow the guide from here on. What you do is you open, I'm not going to obviously show you all of this because you know, I've already done it and you know it's I'm just trying to get you through this as quick as possible my license is no longer valid but um, my trial has expired but what I did I just did a threat scan a hyper scan obviously you'll have the trial so that will allow you if you want to buy the full thing um, or you can just torrent it and you didn't get that from me um, then custom scan so you'd click threat scan, start scan, hyper scan, that, that option would be available to you, custom scan, further scan, and every single thing tick, 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 tick. Um, I would even say, yeah, check as many as possible, root kits, whatever, I'll keep these as they are, potentially I want the program to treat the with malware, and potentially I want it one and then you'd scan it. And I know some people get worried because they have some torrenty things on it, on their computers and they get afraid it'll get it'll remove them but you know it'll give you an option and I would say anything you don't know what it is just remove it because the thick the virus could be hiding that so it does take quite a bit of time it took me six hours in total to finish this entire process not this but this entire um, process of the guide but it was definitely worth it now once you finish that just close it open rogue killer the next program now again, just follow the guide, so run anyway, save completely, then what you do with this is you hit the scan button, and this will take some time, and um, yeah, and basically you, after it's scanned, delete, just click delete, so let me just pause the video, I stopped the scan early, but you should scan it all the way through. And it should show you this, this, blah, blah, blah. Obviously, the scan has went through everything, so it won't show you. And then you just do delete. Just delete. Just click delete. Obviously, this is a process, and I'm really going to delete it. But if a registry thing had come up, once the scan was complete, click delete, and boom. Now, once you finish that, close it. Next thing, combo fix. Um, right click combo fix, run as administrator. Ignore that because it won't work on Windows 10. If you have Windows 7 or 8, knock yourself out. So this step, just skip because I was able to fix all the problems without this. Then you run a DW cleaner and then you do a scan. So, yeah. So, it finished scanning, it said it found no malicious files on my computer. So, um, yep, so that's finished. It, you know, it might say that on your computer or might not. But just do all these processes because I feel like a lot of viruses were found on the later processes. So I was a bit um, discouraged when they weren't found on the first process. But, you know, they do get found on the later processes. So go through this whole guide apart from combo fix if you're on Windows 10 because it won't work. So, finally, to just um, make sure everything's gone, make sure everything's gone to plan, it says the guide advises that you run a full scan of malware bytes or your paid security software. Um, now, what I just want to say is a few notes. This guide works for Windows 7, 8, and 10. I don't know about XP and the earlier version, versions. Um, Windows 10, the combo fix. And what should happen is, um, when you open your games, they should be faster and back to your old computer performance. So I'll try to include some before and after 
show you kind of the nature of the error and uh, yeah that's it so if anyone has any questions leave them in the comments I'll try to reply tell me if you want just a comment reply or a video reply if a lot of people ask the same question then I'll just make a new video link it in the description so be sure to check the description before you have a question um, yeah so peace out